welcome to Newsmatic. My name is Michelle Schaefel. I'm the implementation specialist here, and I just want to take a few quick minutes today to walk through our dashboard. Now, if you're looking for more in-depth information for creating assignments, creating custom units, how to use our search feature, and things like that, then stay tuned because you will have other videos to be able to access for those features specifically. But today, I just want to talk about our dashboard and some of the things that you're going to find within our dashboard. So the first thing that I want to point out today is something new that we've recently launched. And if you hover over where your name and this picture are up here, you're going to see a few things populate. The first one being English or Spanish, because now everybody has access to be able to use our Spanish immersion version. And we are so excited about that. Let me show you how that works. So if I go ahead and click on Spanish here, you're going to see that it's totally going to transform my entire platform. So if you're looking at this from a student point of view, it's going to not only change the titles, those subtitles, even my captions, but within the articles, it's also going to change those buttons up there at the top. We are super excited about this, like I mentioned, and just one of the new great features that we have to offer. On top of that, we are also offering the option for our middle school kiddos to have their own look just for them. And what you're looking at right now is that middle school look for our edition. It's offering a bit more context underneath those titles and just a little bit more of a mature look. Now, for our primary school kids, we have much like our previous version, it's simpler, less distracting, and we know those younger kiddos, something that they already know and love. Now, a few other things to point out. Next to every single one of our articles, we have put a quick short summary for you to be able to quickly read over and see if the article is something that you're interested in for the day, and even giving you a really quick access to those teacher resources right here on that home page. And if you are not familiar what level one, two, three, four, or five are, you can just hover over those levels and then see specifically which each article is written at. So this is something new that we've started doing with those five levels. As in the past, we only offered three. So we are so excited to see these five levels up and running as I know you guys are as well. Down here at the bottom, we always have some announcements that are really important to check out. These might be resources that we have to offer, surveys that we would love some feedback on, or just some really important information coming up. Now at the top, you're going to see how you access our search, whether it's by keyword or standards, how you access those games, a way to get in touch with our editors, and a way to access those already pre-built custom units. Over here to the left, some of you may not see all of these buttons, and that is okay. If you are an administrator, you're going to see some of those buttons like the school and the custom units that teachers don't normally see. Now, if you click on that school button, you'll be able to see the usage for each individual school. If you click on classes, you'll be able to see those teacher breakdown of classes. And users obviously is going to show you the individual users. Now, like I said, I'm going to do different videos addressing specifically the assignment and custom unit feature. And I want to show you our lesson plans, which I feel like a lot of people didn't know were out there. So if you click here on lesson plans, it is going to show you some already pre-built out lesson plans that we have to share with you and are so excited to put those in a more accessible location for you to access. Now heading back over to our dashboard, a few other things that I want to point out. If you want to search by standard, this is just a quick button to get there even faster, a way to access our monthly newsletter, and these down here are quick access to those units specifically by subject. 
Now, these are just a few of the updates specifically about the dashboard that I wanted to share with you. And if you are looking for more in-depth information on specific things, be sure to check out those other videos. Thank you.